my name is Jerome and welcome to part two of the Salesforce Nonprofit Cloud for Programs video series. In this particular video we're going to be covering maximizing the benefit delivery using the Nonprofit Cloud for Programs solution. With the Nonprofit Cloud for Programs, nonprofits have a powerful tool at their disposal. It's like having a personal assistant that helps keep track of benefit deliveries. And this is all made possible by using the specifically designed objects and fields that streamline the process. Imagine being able to plan ahead for the delivery of benefits, knowing exactly when and where they need to go. Attendance for each class can be taken, ensuring all participants are accounted for, and it doesn't just stop there. You can, dr you can drill down from the benefit offered to a single instance of a session, giving you detailed view of your operations. But the real power of the nonprofit cloud comes from its ability to help nonprofits understand the impact of their programs. By tracking benefit deliveries, you can gather valuable data that could drive decision making and improve a nonprofit organization's work. It's not about just doing good, it's about being able to do good better. Now here are those objects that I was talking about that are gonna help track delivery and scheduling of benefits. The first object being benefit assignments. This object connects participants to benefits and outlines service eligibility based on program enrollment records. The second one is benefit disbursements. This object records details when a participant receives a benefit. Benefit schedules. This enables planning a benefit delivery for efficient tracking, especially for recurring services. Benefit sessions. This object helps capture information on each instance of a service, including dates, times, and also attendance. All these objects work together to help nonprofits define, plan, deliver, and track programs based on the benefits or services that they provide. It's demo time. Watch me as I access Salesforce and view a participant's profile and related benefit records, view benefit, benefit assignment, and also benefit disbursement records, and then view benefit schedule and created benefit sessions that are based off of that specific schedule. So now we're jumping over to Salesforce and we're going to start by looking at a participant's profile. So we're going to click this arrow and go to accounts and we're going to use Gabriel. So to view the related benefit records or services that have been offered to this particular participant, we're going to look at enrollment. And in here, we're going to use the benefits assignment object. And like I mentioned before, this particular object connects participants to benefits and also outlines uh, eligibility based on the program enrollment that is assigned to them. So we're going to access the coaching classes benefit here that is um, assigned to Gabriel. Under this record we have um, key information on the benefit and enrollment details such as the benefit that is assigned so we can access the particular service directly from here. We can see the program enrollment record uh, for a job coaching program and this is uh, the particular program that the session is offered for or benefit. We can see the unit of measure that is used so we can see that this particular benefit is offered in hours and we can see the start time and also end time as well and we can also see the status of this particular assignment. If we go to related we'll be able to see the benefit disbursements. Um, where we could see the details when a participant has received a benefit. So if we click into one of these records, we'll be able to see important information on the beneficiary and also the benefit disbursement itself. So we can see that this particular disbursement was for a Monday, Wednesday, Friday coaching class that takes place in spring 2024. And this was for an hour and 30 minutes or an hour and a half and that the disbursement status currently is that they're enrolled and they haven't completed this particular um, disbursement yet because this, this is taking place in the future, but it's already being tracked now. And if we go over to the benefit session itself, we'll be able to see some more information centered around this. So as we mentioned before, the benefit session captures information on a specific instance of a service. And here we can track attendance. So we can see all of the 
participants that are assigned to this particular benefit session and we see Gabriel here and we can update their attendance records just by selecting these check boxes and then using the arrow icon underneath disbursement status and then updating them um, all at one time if we need to. We can also have the ability to add participants at session level. Say for example, if we have someone walk into a Monday, Wednesday, Friday coaching class, we can go ahead and add them by using this button. And then we can also remove any participants by using this button. And just to show you how that looks, add participant. So for example, Ben Clay already participates in the job coaching program. So he may be an attendee to a particular instance of a session and we can go ahead and add him directly into this. So we can see that Ben Clay was added directly into the attendance and then we'll be able to track attendance based on um, what was delivered to them. We can have important details so we can see the start date and time and we can also see that up here as well and we can see the status of this particular session which is scheduled because it's in the future. Now the other important thing to call out here is the benefit schedule. And like we mentioned before, the benefit schedule is enabling planning of the benefit delivery. Um, for And a schedule can include one time recurring on a regular schedule or include many sessions under it that are scheduled irregularly. So for example, uh, to call out something first is the recurring schedule. So we can see that this particular class is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, weekly, for 30 times. And scrolling down a little further, we can see all of the upcoming benefit sessions um, that are under this particular schedule, which were created automatically. We have some helpful components here on the right. So we have the particular sessions that are upcoming and we can add participants directly from this view. And we can also add participants at the benefit schedule level. So they will be included in all of the upcoming sessions moving forward. And that does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn at Jerome Howard or send me an email at jerome.howard at 110.consulting. And look out for video three in the series. Thanks so much.